against anybody. Uh, we feel great. Uh, we can't wait. Uh, we want to win it, most definitely. But uh, we're going to take it one game at a time. Dwight, what made the difference tonight for you all to dominate the post the way you did? Uh, the coach just preached all season that you have to get the ball inside the post, uh, play inside out, uh, put pressure on the defense by attacking and all that stuff. So uh, our guards did a great job of beating the post and just driving it in there. So that's how we put pressure on the defense. We said play, uh, let's just keep playing aggressive and just play smart. Don't, don't reach in or uh, get any kind of small foul. So uh, we, we, did, uh, we did a great job of that. Let me help him answer a little bit. He was too kind of that answer. <laughs> he was a man. This guy right here. 16 points and 13 rebounds. And just not that, in that last five or six minutes, there was probably three block shots he had. Uh, again, uh, it started with him. You know, Justin's been terrific all year long. And again, we put five guys in double figures. That's been the way it's been. Different guys, different nights. You guys have seen us. Uh, did we know he's going to step up and make shots like this? No. You know, again, Oklahoma State is one of the better defensive teams in the country. We came in here and scored 92 points on them. Uh, early in that game, I thought the pressure affected us a little bit. Uh, but the two things we knew we had to do to offset it, pressure, throw it to the block, drive it to the block, throw it to the paint, drive it to the paint. I think for the most part, we did those two things. We won We won that battle right there, getting to the free throw line. Still got the free throw line 30 times on the road. Um, that's good when you can do it on the road. So, uh, but the most important thing, these guys, they took a lick and we never wilted. We kept finding ways to get back up off that mat, finish that game. And that's not easy on the road against a really good team. Coach, what are your initial thoughts on going to New York City with this team? Well, I said this before we started. You know, I'm saying things to get my team back up, but I believed it. I've been a part of New York and NIT. I've been a part of the NCAA tournament uh, at the play, end up playing on a Sunday, they send you to Washington. Instead of Washington, you play early Thursday, you get beat and you go home. Versus playing NIT, have an opportunity to play three games and get to New York City. And now we're just not going to New York City. We got an opportunity to play for a, a national championship. How often? How many teams can say they have an opportunity uh, to play in the, on the greatest stage in the country, Madison Square Garden? I'm proud of these guys who haven't been there have an opportunity. Don't know who we're playing. Don't know who won yet. It's St. Mary's or just started. Excellent. Just started. So it'd be great. Uh, proud for our fans. Uh, those who don't know anything about Western much, uh, for the first time in a long time, we sold that arena out four or five times. So our fans believed in this team. His fans liked this team. And I'm proud for them too, because they've been behind us. They believed in us before we won. 